by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Mahakadash, double honors to elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I'm not an affiliate, I'm just someone who's listened to GMS and have learned from them. So I give them honors. Um, my views are on my own. Um, let's see. A woman shall compass a man. Jeremiah, how long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing on the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right, so I was just, I think this is just required, man, um, for all brothers. Any Anyone is out there simping, getting weak over women, getting manipulated. You should read the book, The Manipulated Man. Um, I, um, I didn't read it. I put it on audio. It's five hours. I did it at double speed because the guy speaks quite slow. So it took me about two and a half hours to listen to. It's very compelling reading, you know, um, uh, or very compelling listening. It kind of breaks down the whole game. Um, and it also explains a little bit about this scripture. The scripture, um, we will eat our own bread, right? That when the... Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away from our reproach. Now forget that word reproach. One sec. Reproach. To express one's disapproval or disappointment in their actions. To reproach, to approach, is to come at someone to reproach is to is to come back at someone you know to 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 revisit them and, and disapprove of them you know like so why you know and i never really understood before why are women gonna be reproached well the reason is they're out of order <laughs> they're straight bang out of order they're not they're not they're, they're playing games they're they're working the game and this and this book, or otherwise known as um, this audio book, and the book itself, you can read the book itself, or the audio book, will tell you everything you need to know, everything you need to know about why and how and what's going on. It was written in 1971, I believe, by this woman called Esther Villa. So it ain't really like you can turn around and say, oh, it's just some man making stuff up. She's a woman. She knows what it's like to be a woman. She just breaks it down. And that's it. That's all I got to, to share. Shalom.